Hello, hello, we are Geeks Assembled and we're going back to 1997 and this time we are going to be talking about a film that stars Lee Evans, which is, as you can see, Mouse Hunt. Yep. Uh, let's go to Alex and Susan first. See what their opening thoughts of Mouse Hunt is. Did you enjoy it? Did it make you laugh? Well, I've liked this movie a lot. Um, it's cute it's fun and um you know nathan lane is great and lee evans i i loved him in doctor who absolutely <laughs> loved him cool. in doctor who because he was kind of, he was like he was like the first osgood you know a fan boy of the doctor and what about mouse hunt Okay, well, the Mouse Hunt was okay. was okay. It was great. It was not a bad movie. It was um, sort of like Money Pit meets um, meets Joe's Apartment. But Alex will tell you more about Joe's Apartment because he knows more about it than I do. But I, enjoy, I enjoyed this, and I think that the mouse was a great, uh, great foil, great villain. Shall I tell you what, what it reminded me of since you said what you think it reminds you of? I thought you can, it was you just can probably home. do that after Alex gives his. Yeah, yeah in, a minute, in a minute. We'll go to Alex in a minute. It was Home Alone, but with a mouse. Exactly what it was Home Alone with a mouse. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do like both of the actors. They have a excellent cast, actually, but the story, no, I didn't really like it. Um, and I thought it went over long, just like Joe's apartment. But in that one, it's singing roaches. Here, it's just a mouse that they can't kill. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, again, and also it depends. If you like slapstick, if you love the Three Stooges, it's probably the movie for you, as long as you can, you know, tolerate the uh, the so talking what, what and yelling like about and all the story? that stuff. Um, I just thought it was over long. Like if it was 10 minutes or 20 minutes, then I probably would have enjoyed it Ten, a lot what, more. The film 10 or 20 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it does have a great cast. And I mean, the house is, you know, really interesting. Of course, then again, it might remind you that a house could have a lot of uh, vermin in it and you don't even know it, like termites and stuff like that. Um, so... It it's yeah it's it's weird in a way, but um, it does have a great cast. Uh, it is an interesting um, setup, but I just thought they went a little too overlong with it. But uh, that's okay. I mean, some you know, there's a lot you, of movies that are like it that. To be ten or twenty minutes. Yeah, long. No, I, I do, I do. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Obviously, it didn't happen, so that that's fine. Well, clearly not, because it yeah. was a film. <laughs> yeah. But there can be a short film, only twenty minutes. We need to go to Lee. Lee, what is your reaction to this? Should it have been ten, twenty minutes long, Lee? <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex, you're talking rubbish. Um, <laughs> Uh, you you might as well have just watched Tom and Jerry, Alex. That'll be yeah, the sure. length for you. Um, uh, I mean, it's only one hour thirty-eight. I know. Movies today are three hours long. I was going to say ninety minutes. That's not. Yeah, it's that's not, not long. Bad. No. That's not a bad runtime. Um, for me, I like it. It was good to um rewatch this. I I remember. I said to um, Ali during the week, I was giggling away to myself re-watching this. Um, very, it's homage to Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. To, you know, Nathan Lane playing Oliver and Lee Evans playing Stanley. Um, mm -hmm. he, even Nathan Lane wiggles his tie at the women like Oliver Hardy does. Um, yeah, it's slapstick. It's, it's brilliant. Best comedy you can have is slapstick. You know, someone else's pain makes other people laugh. Um, and no, it's not too long. Um, Nathan Lane and Lee Evans were ideally cast together as the brothers. Um, but the, the the best character in this is the mouse. It's a oh. it's a, a very clever mouse. Um, 
even you know and also then you get the guest star as well as christopher walkin as the exterminator which you wouldn't expect him to be in a movie like this um yeah it's, it's a fun movie uh, a family movie well let's apart from when they're I'll, I'll i'll go to the favorite parts later but yeah good to rewatch watch it um, and I, I think some these movies these days are missing comedy like that because there's not many good comedies released these days so that's that's my opening thoughts at the moment Alid. over to you even though we just reviewed one a few weeks ago did we what did we review jojo rabbit that wasn't a comedy though was it yeah it is not really it is a comedy it's not a slapstick comedy Mm, it is a little bit. No, it's about Nazis. Yeah. It's, it's just a bit of a slapstick comedy. It's slapstick. Yeah, it is. is. <laughs> 30, okay, so it was budgeted at 38 mil. 38 oh, you budgeted on Google. Anyways, I've finished for now. <laughs> so it's budgeted you, at 38 million. And it made sixty-one million, so I guess a lot of people liked it. Yeah. Well, um, let's go to Ethan. Yeah, I I totally agree with everything Lee just said. It's it's not over long, and I I love this film. I love it. It's it brought back memories, and I always think of my dad. Well, I, first time I watched this back, nineteen ninety-seven. We went to the pitch to see it. I've watched this hundreds of times and it's one of these films I can watch again and again, never get tired of it. Um, and I just, I'll get to favorite moments as well, but a certain scene, my dad was howling with laughter and I just, it was one of the funniest things I had ever seen on the big screen. Can I, can I guess it? Go on then. Is it towards the end when he's got his hand down the woman's cleavage? No. Oh, not your dad. I mean, no, no, <laughs> I mean, no, the no, I mean, no, let's just, I'll, 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 Lee I'll, Evans. No, not that bit. Trying to get no, the no, mouse it's out. Before that, it's before that. The best bit is, like I said, I'll say it. It's a certain, it's two bits in one go. Well, that narrows it down. Yeah, <laughs> no, because I'm saving it for favorite moments. But no, I. You mean what, when he's sucking? Oh no, this is going to sound wrong. <laughs> Just let him hold on to his his favorite moment till oh. till we go through that. <laughs> it's good, yeah, it's going to sound wrong. Otherwise, let's. Have we finished now? No. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. No, I, I, do. It's, it's, I love this film because, it, as Lee said, I miss comedy films having slapstick black humor in it, and mm. I wish they could bring this back because I do. I do love. Laurel and Hardy, the Marx Brothers, the Three Stooges, anything that's got slapstick, wild slapstick. I mean, Nathan Lane and Lee Evans in this was brilliant. Uh, the only other time they teamed up together was the stage show of the producers, which is phenomenal. It's brilliant. And I wish, it's a shame because I wish we got more of Lee Evans in movies like this or like him and Nathan Lane teaming up because they're, they're so good together. But yeah, and you've got a great cast. Vicky Lewis, Christopher Walken, who is <laughs> hilarious. Uh, but yeah, and the mouse in it himself. I mean, you know, what a fantastic, cute little character. You know, super clever mouse. But yeah, it's, it's a fun movie. And I just really do adore this film with all my heart. It, and it just still makes me laugh. And like I said, it just there's, I will say favourite moments there. But yeah, I love watching this. So, fantastic choice. Oh, well, I'm sorry you didn't like it. Let's go to Jake. <laughs> Look at it, Jake. <laughs> but... Comedy with me, because of my autism, I can really struggle to find a comedy film funny. And this film had me wetting myself laughing. It's one of well, that's not unusual, dear viewers. It, it, it's one of the very few comedies that I've clicked with like that. 
It was so magical, so funny. Dark humour is the best humour. And like Ethan said, it should come back. Even if it upsets all the snowflakes, who cares? It's a lot well of Well said, mate. Well it's said. It's not well meant said, to be taken know. seriously. It's hilarious. It is funny. If you can't take the mickey out of dark, like, bad things, then what's the point of making jokes at all? You know what I mean? It makes everything feel better. Uh, but yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this film and I was very surprised that I liked it because I was very hesitant when it was announced that we'd be watching this and reviewing it. Oh, I know, I thought, I know well, you were. <laughs> I thought uh, it's one of those American comedies, I'm not going to like it, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because I chose this film because I remember parts of this film from when I first watched it and I couldn't remember, was it a string factory? or a cheese factory. And I was so sure it was a cheese factory, but yeah, I was so sure it was a, a string factory that of course I realized it during when I was watching the film. And as I was watching it, I was just remembering it as it was going along and I was going, oh yeah, this scene comes up next. And then that scene, and then I realized, oh yeah, it, it's a string factory to begin with that turns into a cheese factory. So that's what it is. Um, because I couldn't decide which one it was to begin with. Yeah, but I love this film. It's so underrated. I think it's so funny. The humour is so spot on. The slapstick, you know, when they've got the mayor over and then the mayor chokes and, you know, to begin at the beginning of the film. Uh, Lee Evans is brilliant. Uh, he's, he's just... I mean, he's he's a comedian in real life, but he's so... He's so physical, isn't he? And he's so good with physical comedy. Well, yeah, but that is his upbringing, his, his tribute to Norman Wisdom. Ah. Because, no, you know, Norman Wisdom was one of his heroes. And uh, Norman Wisdom and Jerry Lewis, um, they were physical comedians. The, mm. and, the way, and the way um, Lee Evans, you know, does his body and all like that, moves. that's what... No wisdom you have to do with Jerry Lewis back in the day. So, Can no. I ask you a question, Lee? Go on. Have you finished interrupting me? No, because she was in. You interrupt me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never interrupted um, you. It's, you it's perfectly <laughs> clear. <clean. laughs> <laughs> uh, but one of my favourite scenes. Well, no, but you see, is, what I'm saying is. No, you're not saying, Lee. Am, you're not saying. No, you're not. I am. Take the 50p out your ass and be quiet. Of course. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this means war. Yeah. This right, could okay. be degenerating into a uh, oh, melee of sorts. Can I just say, one of, one of my favourite scenes is towards the end with the auction and it just all goes wrong. Um, and he tries to get the mouse down the cleavage, and then the other woman decides, Hey, he's doing that with his <laughs> hand and puts his, no, his yeah, hand down her cleavage, cleavage. Just, and then her hair's on fire, yeah, just, and then the house just completely you oh. know, the wall breaks in with the water and everything, and then the house just collapses. I, I, I think that is probably the best scene of a film, uh, really. But let's see what Ethan thinks, because Ethan did have a favourite moment, but he didn't tell us. Mm. But I've got right. a funny feeling what it is. Right, for me, the, it's for me this anyway, uh, <coughs> I do love that bit. I do love that bit uh, with the cleavage and everything's just gone to pot. And everything's gone. <laughs> it just all goes to chaos, <laughs> doesn't it? It, it? I love how it starts, you know, Lee picks up the box and there's the Will Hall, he goes, ah! Yeah. And then he, he's pointing at the mouse like, Oh, I do like the little moment where he's um, the other guy's picking up the cereal. He doesn't realise it's training along the floor because the, the mouse has put a hole in it. Yeah, it's just so basic, isn't it? It's just such a little simple touch. Yeah. But it, when it's just appears, funny to see. When the mouse appears on the desk and Nathan Lane looks down and it appears, and he's like, and then Lee goes, <laughs> yeah. But for me, the, the bit I loved the most, and it always reminds me of my dad because he was how, and I at the whole cinema howled at this. It's two bits in one when they get back to the house and they go 
I don't think we're dealing with a normal mouse. And eventually, Nathan Lane's losing his mind. He loses his sanity in his face. He's like, no, that's it. I'm going to kill him. So they chase it, and he goes up the chimney. And they oh, go, yeah. And he goes, I'll get a flashlight. Doesn't work. I'll get the matches. That's like gas. And it blows up. And Lee Evans goes flying backwards into this wardrobe. And Nathan Lane rocketing us into the sky. He just you know, splashes into the bathtub. And then, of course, after that, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Ethan could just act out the whole <laughs> film. <Yeah. laughs> but, and, and then after that <laughs> bit. But, so that bit, and then the big moment is, of course, you know, they get the shotgun and the mouse goes into the hole and they don't realise that canister, that Chris Wall concept saying, it's dangerous. And you finally work out why it's dangerous. Puts it in, see you in hell, mouse. And they just, it shoots, pew, and it's that big explosion. And it's just and like a phone, nuclear explosion. The phone always goes off at the wrong moment, doesn't it? What's that? The phone. Oh, when they're down in the uh, they're down in the crater, and then the phone goes off. Oh yeah, yeah. It's but it's just <laughs> that, that crater, phone goes that off. Li- Always at the wrong moment. Isn't it? Yeah, that little crater just. <laughs> but me and my dad howled at that moment, and the cinema was howling. And it's one of those bits I love as a kid where the whole cinema just laughed their heads off at this bit. And I remember it just that for me is the best bit where it just is black comedy. They're just blown to pieces. Well, nearly blown to pieces, you know, in the chimney, the, the crater. Uh, uh, and I, That bit's my favorite, my number one favorite, but I do love the bit with Lee Evans, like in the string factory and the string, you know, is getting oh, caught yeah. on the scenes. That's Not caught really, on him. Yeah. Yeah, and he's trying to get everything, but he's just messing himself up. And he just did it to the point where he's in the set. He goes, ah! <laughs> uh, I think uh, the cat bit, Catzilla, whatever it was called. That Catzilla, bit, it was called Catzilla. Catzilla was yep. great. And Christopher Walker just getting absolutely killed by this thing, you know, when the, it pulls him off and he's going along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. And that was part animatronic, wasn't it? You could tell that was. You could tell, yeah. Some that's scenes that was animatronic. Some scenes it was a real cat. And of course, the other bit, the, the last bit, I'll, the other favorite bit is the bathtub scene where they're going up the stairs. They see the mouse, and it's a big head. I love the cat when its feet are just sticking out the crate and it's running along the floor. Yeah, that's like something out <laughs> Tom and Jerry. You're just this cat. Like, it was very Tom and Jerry. That it was very Tom and Jerry, especially when it was going across the piano and all that. And in, then in the well, piano yeah. with the keys playing is well, something the, Tom and I Jerry think that's does. that's what makes the movie great, though, because it's not only Laurel and Hardy and old slapstick films. and even Frozen Tom and Jerry. Yeah. yeah, it's old cartoons as well. Yeah, it mixes come, them up like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but those are my favourite moments. So over to you guys. Well, we've covered the whole film now, haven't we? Really, with favourite moments, we might as well go. Final <laughs> say and score, Ethan. <laughs> Final. I what, have, have a favourite moment he didn't mention. No, no, you two are banned. <coughs> oh, shut up! For They're insulting not. the host. Yes, or not. Are. Let's go to Jake for favourite moments. I, Can I please I, give like, my favourite moment? Like no. I said earlier. It, it's such a shame that this generation is so sensitive because you will not get away with now a man shoving his hand down someone's cleavage to get a mouse. Cause, oh, sexual assault! And then, <laughs> and that was the best f- bit of the whole film for me. Was when everyone, everything went to the shit. Her hair was on fire. The walls were exploding. It made me laugh, and that was the important thing. And I'm very hard to make laugh when I'm watching a comedy. And I must have been laughing for the whole thing. It was so good. The two actors worked so well together. Like Ethan said, why aren't they still working together? Well, of course, they won't be allowed to make another film like that. Because, you know, social justice warriors and all that. But, yeah, I loved it. I'll give my score now, but I'll wait till later. Right, let's go to Ethan for final say and score. Alad, please. Ignore him. We've not done Lee. <laughs> Ellen, no, don't be a jerk. Come on, let me, let me go. They're bound to remember. <laughs> right. Right. 
All right, then let's go to Lee for fun. I'll, I'll give it an eight, and what will you give it? And I'll give it a seven. Seven and eight. We're, we're out of here. We're See you still, later. <laughs> we're still on favorite moments. What's your favorite moment, Susan? It's all right, Susan. We're still on favorite moments. So what's your I favorite I didn't moment? believe it. I thought that he was he was skipping it, it all and saying it's, it's, it's Susan. Alex, it's Alex for you. It's what Alex. What are your favorite moments, Susan? What, what, what are your favorite moments, Susan? <laughs> My favorite moment was when they were in the bathtub. They had just purchased this really amazing bathtub, and 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 it and it was like a bobsled, and then it went into the onto the lake, and 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 the lake started cracking, and they went down with the bathtub. I thought the bathtub would at least float. <laughs> that was my favorite moment of the whole movie. And what about Alex? Oh. Um, Alex yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it. Um, I mean, I know I, I do like old comedies. I do like the Law and Hardy and the Marx Brothers. Here, I just didn't like it too much. Um, I do like Christopher Walken. He was funny as the Exterminator, just like John Goodman was in Arachnophobia. <laughs> but I guess it just kind of tired me out a little bit. Yeah. It's not politically correct, but it's not supposed to be. It's an old time comedy. It's obvious that that's what they're going for. And uh, that is the fun of it. And that is the fun of, of movies like that is that, you know, it is. It's like a live action cartoon. Um, mm -hmm. It does have a good cast. I just I think I just got tired of the of the concept. I mean, I don't even like Home Alone, but Joe Pesci's in it. And I like that. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a seven for the cast. No, and all that, that but cast. yeah, but, no, but, I'm saying for the movie cast. All oh, right, Lehman. Yeah. I thought you're good. You, you, this yeah. overall cast is a seven. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Um, let's go to Lee for yeah. um, moments. <laughs> well, there is several where involving the mouse, where things are happening, and the mouse breaks the fourth wall and looks at the screen. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, you know, just tears. It looks like I'm thinking this. This is so fun, um, but the the one with the with the mouse traps. The do they lay all the mouse traps in the room? Mm. And the cat get out of the door because it's locked. And they're there all night, and then the mouse comes out, and they're just watching the mouse go all along the the shelves. What's it doing? And then it just jumps, and there's that one cherry. <laughs> And that's it. Sets them all off. They're covered in, in mouse traps. But also or, as well. Or when, or when they they set out a tiny piece of cheese, yeah, and then behind them the the. Well, you say you've had your. Would you... <laughs> the mouse takes the whole roll of it. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. Carry on. I won't say that bit then. <sighs> oh, you were going to say that bit. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, Alex. Alex, you've got to learn to allow people to speak. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, and Ethan's already mentioned the up the chimney, into the water, in, into the unit. But for me, the, the end bit of that scene is where they were going, oh, and the cats speak to each other. It's all hand signals. That's just brilliant. Um, yeah, you've, you've gone through most of the. Um, Alan's gone through most of the uh, favourite moments. Oh, and the corpse at the beginning. Straight down into the sewer. The um, coffin, yeah. yeah, it's it, it's a, it is a fun movie, and it, it it's it's a feel good movie. Because at the end of it, you come you come away from it thinking, yeah, I've enjoyed myself watching it. It's only an hour and th uh, an hour and thirty eight minutes. At the end yeah, of it, yeah, but I I think really it should have been 10, 20 minutes long. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's that would um, been the best thing. Yeah, I just, I just like the interaction between Evans and Lane. They really work well together. And um, they say, uh, plus the plus the mouse. Um, it's just a great, great story. And it reminds me of what was this ninety seven? Yeah. There was uh -huh. a. There's a, there was a film back in 94 called, 
Baby's Day Out. Yeah, I remember that. It's it's not got a mouse or anything like that, but it's about oh, it's a, baby. a gang of crooks who is it kid, kidnaps a little baby. And it's the baby on the loose, and they're trying to get the baby back. And it's similar <laughs> events, like, you know, what's happening to the, you know, like the crooks and all that. But it's, it's that sort of thing. But yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Over to you, Ali. Now you can say everything you want now, which you will. Come here often. <laughs> no, we're going to sit in silence for a few minutes. You can't do it. Um, I don't think <laughs> right, so. Let's go. I'll, I'll no, like no. no, 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 Susan. Shh, no, let's go to final say and score. <laughs> Let's go to let's go to Alex and Susan for final say and score. I wonder what they're going to give it. I'll give it an eight. I really like. Wow, this. really? I already told you it. It's all spoiled out, but yeah. it's all good. You ruined it. Um, you broke the you know, rules. The, the fun, the funnest movies are 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 shot slapstick. It's true, and I, uh, and the. The kind of chemistry, you're right, is very Laurel and Hardy. Um, I I have enjoyed this podcast. Uh, the, what was actually said, the <laughs> the shenanigans. It's like it's like you're a mouse or something. Anyway, I don't want to alarm you, Susan, but there's a giant mouse right behind you. It's awesome. Yeah, Hello. yeah, but that's a picture mouse. Um, Hello. Yeah, like I said, I'd um, yeah, I, I'll give it a seven. Um, it is you a good gave cast. it an eight before. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Well, I hold on. I oh, no, hold on. You both gave it an eight. Yeah, funny. Um, <laughs> so I like Christopher Walken. Um, like I said, this does remind me of a few other movies. I, I just like, I guess I just got tired of it after a while. But I mean, it is a good movie. It's made a lot of money. I mean, anywhere from 61 million to more than 100 million worldwide. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just too much arguing. I'm not sure. But uh, that's okay. I mean, they have to make different movies and they have to make different, you know, different uh, slapstick and all that. And uh, I know a lot of people that, that they love that part. They love the, the mouse. They don't really care about the two actors uh, or the rest the of the cast, just the mouse. So, yeah, I guess if you wanted a modern Tom and Jerry, I guess this is pretty close because... Uh, a live action Tom and Jerry. Yeah, the other ones, uh, they start combining it with the Wizard of Oz and other things like that. How have you got the Wizard of Oz in this? No, I'm saying Tom <laughs> and Jerry. The modern Tom and Jerry, they've worked with uh, the Wizard of Oz cast and all that. They have movies that, the, just like Scooby-Doo, that they're working with Batman. How have got What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert as well. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Ghostbusters. And Misery. And, yeah, and you know, Neighbours. Yeah. Neighbours. Ethan, the last Starfighter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very similar. And, and The Weakest Link. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. And Jurassic oh. Park. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like Jurassic Park here. Yeah. <laughs> and come down with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go for Ethan now. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we've already said, I, I, I do love this film. It's perfect comedy, perfect actors, perfect chemistry. And as we Lee said, Jake said, I've said, you know, I would love this kind of stuff to come back, you know, screw the snowflakes, insult them, offend them. You know, the, there's a TV show, The Boys, that's offending people. I love that stuff. Bring this style of comedy a back. A TV show called The What? The Boys. It's on Amazon Prime. You won't like it. It's a comic book thing. Oh. But, but it's The Voice. Pretty, the Boys. The boys. That, that, pro that proves he hasn't watched the cast we did then, Ethan. Yeah. yeah. What cast? That, that's true. What but cast? The voice. The, the boys. boys. Oh, the boys. Oh, the boys. Yeah. As in not girls. Oh, yeah, the boys. Oh, that sounds something that I would like. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, actually, the boys, maybe. But anyways, I, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. 
10 cheeses out. I didn't see that coming. 10 out of 10 cheeses. I do That's love it. That's what he said. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 10 out of 10. I, it's a great, feel-good, fun oh. comedy movie. And it wins. 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. Jake, can you top a 10? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> But I did thoroughly enjoy this. I'm going to give it a 9.5. Oh, 9.5. Why, why only 9.5? Because it is, it, I really did enjoy it, but it's ain't missing trim. I can't put my finger on it. But I'll, no, fuck it. I'll give it a 10. There you go. It's a 10. I liked it. I loved it. Yes! Are you all right there, Ethan? Why? <laughs> <laughs> So the, the, you liked everything about it then? There was nothing missing from it then? No? Okay. Well, let's go to... No, let's go to me now. We're going to leave Lee out of it. We've had a vote. And we've, all de- we've all decided There's Lee still. that we're going to skip Lee. Lee, what's your score? <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think I'm going to give it... Mm. 10 mouse droppings out of 10. Mm. Mm, lovely. Or oh, cockroaches. Mm. 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 Yummy. Mm. <laughs> Where's its head? Uh, <laughs> I've asked that myself many times. Uh, so we got a 10. <laughs> we got a 10 from Lee. 10 from Ethan. 10 from Jake. <clears throat> Eight from Susan, seven from Alex, and we're going to get another ten from me. Uh, Because I think this film is a lot of fun. And I've always enjoyed this film. I don't know why that that it's not as popular as what it should be. Because I do think it's really underrated. But it's a really, really great film. Uh, It's funny all the way through. It's well told. It's well acted. Yeah, it's it's great. It's a great film. Always has been, and I think Pete and it's slapstick, so it doesn't really age. There's there's nothing in the film that really ages, is there? When you think about it, only us when we do these casts. But like, it wasn't like the mouse was a real mouse, wasn't it? Mm, Sometimes some bits bits, in some bits, but it wasn't like CGI. Where can you imagine if it was like? The last Starfighter CGI. I, I <laughs> tell you, I tell you something. What was missing in a scene from this? You know, when all the water's rushing through the, the house it, it, <coughs> in, in between the walls, and the mouse is trying to get away. Yeah. They, should have, they should have had the mouse surfing on a piece of rubbish. Uh, yes, that would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think for that reason, I'm going to give it a two. Hey, it goes up to <laughs> No, 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 you can't change it now. I, I, <laughs> I had the most perfect opportunity to crush Ethan, Ethan's soul, and I missed it. I could have crushed his soul. Yeah, you missed my soul. Because there's nothing there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alex, Alex, <laughs> crushed a lot of Alex crushed a lot of men's souls. Yeah, but he Not only their souls either. He, yeah. he knows he can't crush mine. Because I just... Give a crap. You live too far away. <laughs> All right, then. Well, I'd like to thank everybody here for joining me, apart from Lee and Alex and Ethan and Susan and partly Jake. Jeez. In fact, no, none of you. I'm not going to thank any of you for joining me. I hate okay. you all. Okay, why, 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 you, why, you, why you come on our podcast then there, Alad? Well, um, and I'm not going to thank For Cher. For Cher. Cher won't That's watch if I'm not on. Nobody else will have him. That's the problem. Oh. See? Picked on, no. They're picking on me, Cher. Cher, they're picking on me. Sort them out. <laughs> right, I'd like to thank you for watching. Look after yourself. Take care. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. We're finished. Thank God for that. Could have been called the string cheese incident, that one. We're still recording.